I'm going to be taking you guys through a complete tutorial on how to register and set up your Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing account or KDP account from anywhere. Let's go. What is up guys? My name is Orin and welcome back to my channel. If you're excited about this video, be sure to give this a big thumbs up right now. If you want to learn more about making money online and starting your online business, make sure to subscribe and click the bell. So once you're on the KTP website, this is how it looks like before you have registered. So you have the sign in and sign up options. You can sign in with your Amazon account, but I would suggest you to sign in with a new account because this is after all your business and it's best to keep it separate. So here down, you can do create your KTP account. And that will bring you to this page where you can fill in all these details but make sure to put your real name because um, this is very important and then um, i already have an account so i'm just gonna go ahead and sign in and that will bring us to this page and this is our kdp dashboard and it says that uh, we have already created an account but uh, over here they are also saying your account information is incomplete to publish a book you need to complete this so we will do update now and then that will bring us to this page uh, and here they'll ask you to set up your two-step verification I already have it set up so they have sent me the OTP now and I'm just gonna put that and sign in and that will bring us to this page which is your account page which has my profile getting paid tax information and all that kind of things so here they are saying which country or region do you live in so we will go ahead and put our uh, country name so in my case this is united arab emirates so i put that and then i fill in all the other details that they are asking for my full name make sure that this is your real name and then my address and everything else and uh, postal code phone number and then next is the most important one getting paid so here they're asking tell us about your bank so where is your bank so this is an important one so for example for the people who are in the united states we do United States and then you fill in all these details, your account name and what kind of account is it, is it checking or savings and then all the other information, your bank name, routing number and everything and then you add and that's it. It's as simple as that. But there are also a lot of countries that KDP does not support with payment. So here I'm going to change this and put United Arab Emirates. And then once I select that, they say we currently don't support electronic payments on this country or region. Please select I don't have a bank to complete setting up your payment method. So we will not do that, but I'm going to show you how to get your payment setup done. If your country is one of the countries that KDP does not support with payment. So to get paid by KDP, we will need a payment provider. And one of the best one out there is Payoneer. If you don't know what Payoneer is or if you're hearing about it for the first time, I have a lot of videos on this topic in my channel. You can definitely go and check them out. A Payoneer account basically gives you a US bank account. The link to sign up with Payoneer is in my description box below if you need it. So right now I'm signing into my Payoneer account and once I'm logged in and then this is my Payoneer dashboard and under balances over here click these three dots and you'll find receiving accounts you go inside receiving accounts and inside of my receiving accounts i have my us bank accounts via payoneer and then if you do view details you can see all the details of the bank account it's a first century bank account uh, it's a checking account and all the other information i've hidden but uh, it has all the information that you need and we will simply copy all this information and put them inside our KDP. I have a lot of tutorials on Payoneer. You can um, go in my channel and check them out. And so here we are inside our KDP. I've selected checking because it's a checking account. And then the beneficiary name would be my name. And uh, we are going to copy and paste that over here right now. 
account holder name is the beneficiary name and then next is the account number and then we are going to paste that and then uh, re-enter and then next we have the routing number and uh, next uh, we have uh, the bank name and add and that's about it you are set up to receive payments from all across amazon marketplaces so you're good to go your account uh, details are already showing here and then um, you can check all the marketplaces that are here you can click that and this will show you all of the marketplaces where you will be selling so uh, it's amazon.com amazon.india amazon.uk denmark and all of these other marketplaces and that's it and then you save and success and then next we have the tax information we'll do complete tax information and then that will bring us to this page this is a tax information interview so here um, they are asking what is your tax classification here we will go ahead with individual individual includes sole proprietors or single member llc's where the owner is an individual if you select business that will ask you a lot of other questions so i would suggest you to go with individual and then uh, are you a U.S. citizen, U.S. permanent resident, green card holder, or other U.S. resident alien? Uh, whichever you are, you select that, and then that will give you a couple of more questions with that. And then you simply sign and submit. For the people who are not from the U.S., this is how we will do it. What is your tax classification? We will go ahead with individual and for the second question, are you a U.S. citizen, U.S. permanent resident, green card holder, or other U.S. resident alien? We will go ahead with no. And then they are also asking, are you acting as an intermediary agent or other person receiving payment on behalf of another person or as a flow-through entity? We will do no. And then that's all your information, your name, uh, your permanent address. You can click that if that's the same, same as mailing address. And then you select your country of citizenship. And then down here, we will uncheck this box. I have a non-US TIN. And that will give us these questions. Why are you not able to provide a TIN? So we will go ahead with the last option. I could not or have not obtained a TIN from my local authorities because of other reasons and then uh, we will continue and that will bring us to this section sign and submit i consent to provide electronic signature for the information provided as per irs form w8ben and then basically down here you tick this box i certify that i have the capacity to sign for the person identified on line one of this form and we put our name and sign and then we save and preview and then this is our tax interview form and you can check everything if everything is okay over here if you want to make any changes you can go right below here and make changes and if everything is okay we do submit form and that's it your tax information interview is complete it's validated and also, you have a copy of your interview form on the right side. Uh, there's a download button. You can download and save it for reference for later. And you can exit your interview from here. And that will bring you to your KDP dashboard again in this section. And it says that your tax interview is complete and you hit save. And that will bring you to your dashboard. And as you can see, everything is done. You're good to go to upload your books. If this video was helpful or added any value, please give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any topics on making money online and online businesses. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll be sure to answer most of them and I'll see you in the next one.